Hey guys, Tech here for another video tutorial. Uh, sorry about the delay, I haven't been able to make a lot of videos recently because I've been uh, doing some paid tutorials on Fiverr.com, uh, so I haven't been able to make some personal ones in a while actually, but uh, there's an app I've been using recently that I really wanted to show you guys, I really like it a lot, uh, and I've been telling all of my friends and family about it, it's called Telegram. Uh, and what it is, it's a messaging app that basically takes the place of your text messaging uh, as well as other apps like WhatsApp. I think it's a lot better than uh, those competing applications. So let me, let me go ahead and show you what the application looks like. Here I have Telegram on my iPad. And so you can see it's a really basic messaging application. Uh, here I have a test account that I was sending some messages to. So I've got some pictures that I sent to uh, this account. But the nice thing, the first thing that you'll see here is as I'm scrolling up, on this account, you'll notice that it's ex exceptionally fast. Um, one of the problems that I have with text messaging is that anytime I want to go back uh, maybe a week ago to look at a message that I sent one of my friends or one of my family members, uh, as I'm scrolling up to the very top, it lags, there's latency, and I have to wait for it to reload that content. And here I'm literally going back to the very beginning when I first sent a message to this account. Uh, I can scroll through it with no lag at all. So it's really easy to see previous messages. Uh, there is a built-in feature where you can send uh, pictures and files very easily. So you can see that I can take a picture or a video. I can choose from my photos and attach that. Um, I can send a location or even a documents if I want to send a file. And I can send contacts. So there's a lot of different features for how you can send files. Another thing that I thought was pretty cool is if you click on this little paperclip icon, uh, you'll see there's also an option here that says search web images. Here what you can actually do, you get your own little interface here with almost like a web browser where you can just search for things and you can look through all the different pictures that come up and if I want to go ahead and send one of those images to the person that I'm messaging, all I have to do is select it and click on send, which means that I don't actually have to wait and uh, go into another web browser find a picture, copy it, and then paste it, or save it into my photo gallery and then send the image. I can actually just do a quick web search within the app and send pictures that way. You'll notice in the bottom right hand corner as well, down here, you see there's an option here where you can actually use the microphone feature. So all I have to do is hold it down, and you can see that it's going to now go ahead and record what I'm saying. And I'm uh, holding down the button, and so as soon as you release the button, it's going to go ahead and send that message, so that becomes a voice message that I can now play. So you can send as many voice messages as you want, uh, that's all free. Uh, I really like that also, the way that the application is designed and the whole software is designed, uh, it sends messages very, very quickly. And so you can see here if I wanted to send a simple text message. As soon as you click on the send button, it immediately pops up and you can see that uh, down here you get this little check mark and as soon as the person reads the check marks they're going to be uh, v uh, viewed and so you'll get two checks like this and so you can see that in this message here you can see that at the very bottom I've got two check marks which indicate that uh, the person on the other end has read my message I also like that if you tap on an image that you've uh, sent any of the messages that you've sent or received uh, you can actually scroll to the left or swipe to the left rather and you can see every single picture that you've ever sent to this contact so it's a really easy way to uh, keep track of all your images I hated that with uh, text messaging a lot of times I would send messages I hated that with text messaging a lot of times I would send images to someone and then I would want to go back and find that image and I couldn't do it and I would lose the image because I forgot to save it so that helps with that so on top of all of these features, Telegram is completely open source, which is great in a lot of ways. Uh, it's never going to be paid, so you're never going to have to pay anything for it. And it gives you a lot of other capabilities. So for instance, another thing that I really like about Telegram is that you can actually send messages not just from your iPad or from your phone, but from your PC. And you don't even have to have it on your own computer, you can actually access it from the web. So let's take a look at some of the ways that you can actually use the application on, for instance, a desktop computer. Okay, so here I just did a Google search for Telegram, so we can go to Telegram's main website. 
and here you can see uh, the different options you have. So Telegram is available for Android and iPhone and iPad, Windows Phone. Uh, there's a web version of it like I mentioned before. It's available for Mac. Every platform that you could possibly think of uh, it's compatible with. And down here you can see some of, the, some of the things that makes Telegram pretty unique. It's private, so these are all completely private messages. They're encrypted uh, and can self-destruct depending on how you uh, set it up. So that's another feature that you'll see later on is that you can actually private message someone so that uh, the conversation is encrypted and then it actually deletes all the information after you're done with the conversation. So you can do that as well. It's cloud-based. Uh, I like this a lot because with my text messages, especially moving from different phones back and forth all the time, uh, a lot of times you may lose text messages or if you don't lose them at the very least, I've had an issue where sometimes I'll go and look back at previous messages and I can see all the messages that were sent to me but not the messages that I sent to them. So there are different ways that uh, you can kind of have issues with that, but uh, with Telegram, no matter what device you're using, it's always going to have the messages exactly the same way that they were set up before. You'll be able to see the messages that you sent and received, all the pictures, all the information. It's all stored online forever, and there's no uh, limit to the amount of messages that you can send and receive. So I could go on and on with all the features that Telegram has, but I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the other platforms that you can use this with. So the web version, I like that a lot. Sometimes I'll go down to the college and I want to use uh, whatever computer that I'm using temporarily, I want to go ahead and message some friends. And so here is the web version of Telegram. I can click on Start Messaging, and all I do is I simply put in my phone number associated with my Telegram account, and click on Next, and click on OK. And what happens is Telegram then pops up, which you can see down here because I have it installed, with a code that I can put in here. And you put in the code and click on Next. So once you verify the code that Telegram sends you, you'll be able to uh, see all of the messages that you've sent and received. And you can go ahead and start messaging people and do whatever you want. And I have all the controls here and all the uh, options and features that I would have on the app on my phone or my tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and send a quick message. And so I can send messages from here. I also have the app installed, so you can see that down here, this is the full-blown uh, Windows application, which I've installed on my computer. So you can send and receive messages here, and you can send any kind of file. You can send video files uh, through the desktop version of this software, uh, and you can send pictures and videos through the web version as well if you want. You can see it opens up my file explorer, so I can send whatever files I want to any of my contacts. It's just a really, really great, uh, very easy to use a messaging platform. It takes a lot of things from WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a very popular application. A lot of people would use that um, as an alternative to their text messaging. But the problem is, number one, it is a paid application, and it's limited to uh, tablets or smartphones. There isn't a web version uh, or a PC version of that application. And again, I like that uh, you're able to access all of your messages and all your contacts. You can do everything that you want no matter what platform you're on, whether you're on a laptop or a desktop or a tablet. Uh, it's really, really easy and really, really convenient. So this is just a quick video showing you some of the features that Telegram has to offer. Uh, if you want, you can check out their website. It's telegram.org, and they have links to all the different uh, versions of their Telegram Messenger on all the different platforms. You can download it for free in the App Store, on the Android Play Store if you'd like to do that as well, and you can download it through the telegram.org website. You can download the desktop version or access the web version. That's it for this video tutorial for Telegram. Uh, thanks for watching this video tutorial and have a great day.